it's Kirby. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are doing a Cruella de Vil look. If you are interested to see how I did my makeup to become Cruella de Vil, then please keep watching. Okay, to save time in this tutorial, I put my wig cap foundation and glued my eyebrows down off camera. Now that you look sufficiently crazy with your eyebrows concealed down, which you don't necessarily have to do that, I just kind of wanted to make this look be a cross between the cartoon and like human and in the cartoon she has very thin long high eyebrows so I took the extra step but now we're gonna move on to eyes and eyebrows and she famously wears a green eyeshadow with some thin black brows so that's what we're going to do I'm gonna conceal my eyes with a matte concealer and then go in with some green eyeshadow and sketch out the eyebrows as well in reality I probably should have done my eyebrows before actually putting my eyeshadow on but I thought that putting the eyeshadow on would help me to do my eyebrows it did not <laughs> um, but either way, it worked out. I really just put the eyeshadow on in like two arches, if you will, because that's how she wears it in the cartoon. And like I said in the beginning, we're kind of trying to do like a blend of cartoon and human, if that makes sense. So full disclosure, this was my second time doing my eyebrows and I did not speed up me mapping out my eyebrows because since this was my second time, I had to take them off the first time and redo it and it took me a long time <laughs> to do my eyebrows. I edited out a little bit of it because I just had such a hard time drawing on fake like drag queen eyebrows above where they were supposed to go but also with them looking like natural if you will. Here I sped it up to just show you how I filled them in and drew them on because this did take quite a bit of time. Um, but yeah, I just struggled really hard through getting my eyebrows done. So please, if you are trying to do this like cross between uh, cartoon and human, make sure you're taking the time to diligently map out the eyebrows because I feel like if you get that wrong, the whole look is wrong. And then I also cleaned up underneath and above the eyebrows with concealer like I would my normal eyebrows, um, which also helped in shaping them the way I wanted to and getting rid of the markings that I mapped them out with as well. Um, it also helped to kind of highlight the face, which was an added bonus as well. All right, mad respect to all drag queens out there. Those brows were tough to get through. I'm going to go back and finish the eyes, which is again, just building up and getting the green eyeshadow the way that I want it. Um, so yeah, hang tight. All right, we're gonna add some liner, mascara, and lashes before we move on to contouring the face. All right, moving on to contouring. Corella Deville has a very slender face compared to mine. Um, so we're going to try and contour uh, a little bit more of a slender look to 
my wider face. <laughs> we're gonna do it kind of slowly and we're just gonna build it up. So take your time. It's not a competition. To accentuate the contour, I went in with a very bright like white highlighter and just kind of put it on the highs of my face as well as underneath my eyes just to brighten everything up and really pop out the like slender parts of the face um, to create a little bit more of that effect. Right, and after the highlighting and contouring is done, I'm going to do my red lip, um, which is pretty iconic to Corella. All right, so then I'm going to put my wig on and my outfit, and the look is pretty complete. And this is it, guys. This is the final Cruella de Vil wig look. Ugh, you guys, it came out really good. I was a little nervous in the very beginning. It didn't seem like it was going well. Added some nails, added the wig. I really think the wig is what pulls this together. Don't you? I feel like I need a cigarette holder. Maybe I'll make one for Instagram. Um, but I will link all of the products that I used in the description box below. So if you are interested, you can check them out on your own time. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big old thumbs up, you guys. It turned out pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, as always, please be sure to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. I would hate for you to miss out on any more videos. Thanks so much for watching, guys.